Just give the word and we'll get underway. Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most Your recent Vanguard sleep Noir. cycle. Spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this will be your last encounter with a space crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who can in their way. They are less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive.
had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I fetched up my ship, and I'm heading to them too. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. something we can use.
Am I going to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Oh, that. Yeah, I mean, it's been a mess lately. Spacers, Varun Zealots, plus Ecliptic tracking me down. We ran into a few members of Ecliptic at the Nova Galactic Star Yard. I'm guessing they were after you. Ah, damn. That's probably how they found me. I knew taunting the Spacers to meet me at Neptune was a long shot. Making rookie mistakes. I've been chasing shadows around the Sol system for years. And every time I go back to Mars... Sidonia is waiting for you. Run down. Forgotten. Feels like everyone's given up, you know? I've just been spending more and more time in the Starfield. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really going back. Yeah, it sure does. Guess someone needs to be out there keeping the old neighborhood safe. If you're ever in Sidonia, we should grab a beer sometime. If you don't mind, we came here for something. That strange object you found? Right. Hey, it's yours. Appreciate the rescue. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge.
It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Oh, we'll be working with everyone here at the Lodge sooner or later. Constellation is all in on this. Sometimes we'll partner up, sometimes we'll go solo. It's not a formal arrangement. We just came back with good news. We've got momentum. Why not keep going? All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Maybe another time. I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid is exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. There's no you have to be this tall sign for space. The package may be small, but she can handle herself. You'll see. It helps to have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. Sam? <laughs> Not let it go to his head? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> a compliment from little Cora. It's not even my birthday. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila. For a settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing artifact. Okay, we'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Can I help? Appreciate the lift. But once we 
Touchdown in the queue. We'll talk more. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope. Bye for now. See something you like. Stop by any time. Stock says you see something you like. Take care. Just who made that ship of yours? Even in the well, welcome to the trade authority. authority if, however, to you are here under oh, false pretenses, you then I'm afraid you'll. It? So, what? Then my disclaimer doesn't apply. Please let me know. Be my guest.
You need anything else? You know it. It's cliche, but it's true. Be my guest. Pleasure dealing with you. Hey, no. Bush pack. And the flight traffic as it is. Captain, do you require my assistance? 
We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Ah, gotta pass the hours on the star station somehow. And the iron's always been good to me. Just don't challenge him to an arm wrestling competition. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Always preferred working alone, even around people I like. But we're all working together on this one. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on, but if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay?
clear for flight. Any closer. Identify yourself. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? I suppose. And yet you are here. Instead of checking up on Barrett or Noel. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk.
wherever you store that, the smell will not be an issue.
If you need help carrying any of this, you just let me know. I did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Have you now? I have also seen a great many things in my time. Some quite dangerous. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again. Well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us.
right, Captain. Where are we headed next? Those merchants in Freestyle. Base.
through spell check first. Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Bectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Oh my goodness. That must have been... terrifying. When it comes to the artifacts, it never ceases to amaze me how the science... well, simply fails. If there is, the artifacts are doing a heck of a job hiding it. The artifacts are so different, so alien, and I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Is there? Well, after spending years gathering data about the artifacts, you'd think I'd have all the answers. Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and wild theories. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... well, an explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk, and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time.
I don't mind bunking on the ship, but nothing is better than unwinding in your own quarters. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? They're embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science? or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Neutrality in a debate? I guess your side forfeits. Uh, how can you forfeit if you don't even take a side? You're getting rusty with your comebacks, Mateo. Playing it safe, eh? <laughs> I don't blame you. Getting mired in a debate with Matteo and Noel can be an all-day affair. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Oh. I, I then... I think I prefer the wild planets to this city. At least there, the predators are easier to spot. We are fortunate that Walter has used his considerable funds to maintain the lodge. Are we not? Thank you. 
the best care. Welcome to Arilla. How can I help? You're a little banged up. All right, we'll clean. Everything looks good. Well, you've certainly come to... You have to trust the science. But then I realize my tank's sprung away. I'm stuck.
into something else, I'll be here. a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Good job. That's it? Yes. 